Hey everybody, it's Doug here from One Man's Life. We are out on the Red River, Winnipeg, Selkirk. Look at that hole, I got my new toy here. Right now there's nothing going on. This hole anyway. There's my lure. The yellow is the bottom obviously. We're sitting at about 11, 12 feet here. We're like right in the middle of the river, so it's not too deep here. We got our shack set up. There's just people. There's so many people out here. There's way out there. I don't know if you can actually see that far, but way around the bend there, there's like literally hundreds of people out here. There's our truck. Her tent. Charlene's in the tent. She already got one. Little one. It's probably what 12 inch little walleye. She got the first fish. Had the flasher set up in there for a little bit. Had a few come up to the lure but nothing bit. Had a little nibble and he got away on me and then he swam away but yeah there is so many people out here. It's a beautiful day out here. I got another one set up here. This one here I'm going to show you this. That there is the oldest rod in the world. And uh, I cut it down and fed it into there, glued it solid. So now it's a shorty rod. But that stand I made, just painted it. And that is what's protecting my hole from being iced over, which wouldn't ice over too much today, but it's pretty mild out. Let's pull this off. And it's just built like that. So it's a double layer of inch and a half. It just fits over the hole. There's a slot for the line. So it just prevents the ice from building up so the rod can still go up and down. This little thing is just a little clip. Just a little piece of plastic glued to a clothesline. Clip. Just clip it on there. There's not much wind now but when the wind catches this thing it just bobs all on its own. It was bobbing before. Had this one in here for about two hours, nothing on it. Uh, it did strip my minnow before. We're using a live here on the red. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna drill a couple more holes. See if we can mark a couple of fish on there, but that is my new toy. Been playing with that thing all morning. It's pretty good. Actually, I'm pretty impressed with it. I have, don't know everything about it yet, but it's got the flasher and you can actually use this one. It is a GPS, so you can use it on open water, so you can use it on the boat. Pretty decent. Heard some good reviews about it, so we picked this thing up. Can't guarantee that it's going to catch us fish, but at least we know that there's fish below us. In this hole, there's nothing, but I'm gonna go drill a few more holes over there. And then uh, we will see if we can get something on top of the water here. Right now, catch you in a bit. Over here, Charlene got the first one. I don't even know what time it is, it's like 10.30. It's a little guy, he's only like 12 inches. Let me take this away from there. <laughs> Charlene, and that's a brand new spoon. Look at the spoons. I just bought these yesterday. Okay, stop it. Look at that spoon. It's a double spoon. That is so cool. We're going to let this guy go. All right, we're set up here now. We re drilled. Got my other one set up here. Let's see what we can do with much right now. here got my new 
can park camera set up on the, the flasher. Not showing any marks coming up here yet. But like fishing you gotta have patience even when you got all the little bells and whistles <clears throat> at the end of the day it's still fishing but at least this gives you a chance to see if there's actually something lurking on the bottom I also bought a few different hook switches I was gonna take them out but now I got the camera sitting on there Got a bunch of kids over there having fun. There's so many people out here. This is awesome. It's a beautiful day. I think it's like minus three or four it's supposed to be today. But uh, hopefully we can pull some fish out of here. It's kind of why we came out here. We didn't come here just to play with our toys. We came out here to bring some fish home. In the event we do, I'm probably going to end up doing a little video at home there. Catch, clean, and cook kind of thing. But uh, yeah, this is pretty fun. It is now just after lunch. So we're going to do some lunch yet. A couple of holes drilled in the, in the tent. I don't know if you could see from here. I'm gonna put my rod down here for a bit. Whatever. Somehow. But here's our tent. This is our ice series. The side of three, we bought a single while back. Charlene's in there watching a movie. Can't see her now because it's all. I can see her, but I don't think. Oh, yeah, there you can see your hand jigging. But uh, inside there, I'm not going to show you inside, but I have this. It's a couple of pieces of OSB that we put in for a floor inside there. Works awesome. We actually can sit our chairs on there properly. We have two chairs sitting inside there. A couple little tables set up. Cooler and my other, my other box to carry all my stuff. Sorry, this video is kind of crappy, but whatever. I'm getting the idea. That's our little setup. We bought that thing, boy, two, three seasons ago. It's been awesome. We've used it quite a bit. So, I mean, yeah, this is a bunch of fun. It's Saturday, January 8th, 9th, 9th, I think. Whatever. 2021 here we are out on the on the hard water got some holes drilled it's pretty cool all right so we're at the back here and you can see I'm marking some fish right close to my line a big yellow is the bottom right at like nine feet hook is that bigger yellow there there is fish swimming around there oh yeah there's a nibble come on Right there. There's a couple of fish right around it. You just don't want to bite it. Just gonna let it sit again for a bit. It is a live minnow, so she's swimming around by himself. I have to pull it up here shortly to see. But see, it's moving around. The live minnow, then you know it's still on. 
moving around a little bit. He's moving around like crazy, then you know there's a fish pulls by. There's something right sitting there, probably just looking at it. And it's gonna bite it right shortly here. My glove down. So I'm holding, I'm filming with my phone right now, so if I do get something, I'm going to have to put my phone down, it's probably going to go a little bit black. And then once it's up onto the water, oh yeah, there's something there for sure, sitting there just looking at my... <laughs> there's fish around there. Come on, something's got a bite. I gotta catch. I haven't caught a fish yet. There's fish all over that thing. Something's got to bite it. Look at the marks. Come on, there's so many fish around this thing. There's like a freaking school. They're all over the place here. They're all over the fucking screen. Look at this. There's a, something huge. Oh, there's lots of fish there. Something's got to nail this thing. Come on. Just gonna let it sit again. Like I said, if I catch something, I'm gonna have to put my phone down. But yeah, they're all over that. Oh, now they're swimming away. Son of a bitch! There was a freaking school that went by. Like, wow, look at that. Look at the action down there. Oh, this is cool. It's definitely more fun having a flasher because then you can actually get some sort of excitement going rather than just looking at the end of your rod not knowing what's down there here you can actually tell there's something down there so we'll see oh there's more fish coming in there's more here cool I moved over I was way over there moved about 70 feet closer to shore and holy shit look at the marks <laughs> there is a big fish right close to there could be a pike if it was a pike I don't know why you wouldn't have hammered that by now walleye are a little more finicky this thing has stopped moving they're still there Still there. See, there's my lure, that top one. My lure. As I pull up. As I pull up, you can see my lure. Oh, there's something right underneath there. I'm gonna let it back down in front of him. There's definitely fish there. They're just not wanting it. I don't know if they're little saugers or something's got a bite. They're all over this thing. I wonder why they're not biting. That's weird. It's a live minnow and a jig. And a white jig. As soon as they see that thing, they should just hammer it. Whatever. I'll play around here a little bit more if I uh, catch something and I will, I guess, just take a picture. I'm going to try to get these guys on here. Catch you in a bit. Alright, so we're here in the kitchen. It's Sunday the 10th. Yesterday, Shar and I went uh, fishing on the red. And uh, she ended up pulling 
one in that we kept she actually pulled in three onto the ice um, I got nothing but it was a lot of fun playing with the flasher there was probably I would see at least marked 50 40 to 50 fish and I the solo they were there but they just didn't obviously want my hook and we got some new hooks on Friday and that's the one Charlene actually caught the pickerel on and uh, if you want to come over here sure Char's on the camera by the way uh, this is one of the pickerel that she got there it was just a tiny one but there's some pickerel cheeks in here and there's a crappy in here somewhere whatever it's a big surprise for her. but what we're doing with it is we're gonna make some wraps and uh, we've tried a couple of wraps already uh, not with fish but we did with just other meats and we really enjoyed them so I'm gonna show you how I prepared them I've done most of the cutting up already to spare you all the details of that everybody knows how to cut up vegetables but what we're gonna put in there I got uh, red peppers uh, mushrooms um, purple onion cheese and we got uh, romaine lettuce so I'm gonna basically because there's two wraps I'm basically gonna cut this off so it fits in there cut it in half and then just put the whole wrap on top of there but uh, let's start with mayo yeah, and I already fried up the fish, as you can see, it's fried, ready to go. And uh, basically dip this into, this is a uh, meal, as you can see. What I do is I spread it out halfway onto this. Now this is a, like a, what is this, 10 inch or is it even a 12 inch tortilla? soft wrap so that's the start of it now you can really do this with any meat that you want but I salt it a little bit put a little bit of pepper on there so yeah our fishing trip I, I played around with that that flasher for hours and like time went by like just like that and Charlie's like oh, it's time to go it's like what I'm not done playing yet so it was fun and looking forward to the next uh, next excursion but okay so I think what I'd like to do I think I'm gonna put the lettuce on first so I'm just gonna discard this little piece and I'm gonna cut this directly in half Right down the middle. And what we're gonna do is place it on there like that. This romaine lettuce actually works perfect for this. As you can see, the shape is just excellent. So we're gonna put the fish on there. This is Charlene's pickerel. That's gonna be her sandwich. Actually, I'm gonna steal some of hers and put this piece in there. That should be lots. These other little pieces here, there's uh, like I said, there's crappy in there, and then there's pickerel cheeks. This is what we do with them. Mm. That's delicious. I've been saving these in the freezer for a while, and I'm glad I did because we only took home the one, the one pickerel, or the one walleye. So I took that out of the freezer, and we added that to the menu. So, we kind of agreed on, well, we didn't agree, I just kind of made this up. But you can put whatever you want in here. So those were the purple onions, I think that's lots. Probably cut up too much. And this is the red pepper. Again, you can choose any kind of pepper you want. If you don't like red pepper, then don't use it. And then we're gonna put some mushrooms on there. You don't have to use mayonnaise. You can use whatever sauce or dressing you want. You kind of know what you like. But this works for us. We really enjoy this. So this is going to be our lunch. Like I said, it's Sunday. 
the 10th and uh, we're gonna have our lunch now we're kind of too tired yesterday to fry it up and all that so I cleaned it up put, put all my gear back in the shed and then we kind of relaxed and said to Charlotte we'll probably do a video in the morning to finish up the whole series but yeah I got a little bit of footage on us uh, playing or myself playing with a uh, the new GPS okay so this is basically how we do it it's very simple just tuck it in there nicely fold over one end obviously you well shouldn't say obviously but you should know how to do this you can leave one end open because you're gonna be eating it right away just keep that end tight just roll her over there you go I think that was Charlene's so again, you can add more onto this if you want to, but as you can see, this is pretty full already. So I think if we eat this, plus the little hand pieces there, or finger, finger food, this can get a little bit tricky sometimes folding this over. There's probably experts out there that do this in seconds, but that's definitely not me. So there we have lunch. It's gonna be pretty good. I'm gonna bite into mine. Charlene's gotta wait because she's obviously holding the camera. <laughs> but there's a little piece there you can see. That's gonna be the first bite. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's a good way to use that up. I mean, you can eat it just like that if you want to. But if you're looking for new ideas to use up your fish or that's good for any kind of sandwiches on a lake or whatever. Bring this with you while you're ice fishing. Make them right there if you like. We decided to do it in our uh, kitchen at home, so a little more comfortable. But yeah, that was really yummy. But um, I want to thank you all for coming along this weekend. We had a blast fishing. And... Charlene obviously outfished me, which is whatever, doesn't really hurt my feelings, but um, we had a lot of fun, and like I said in the video there, uh, it's really nice to know that there's actually fish underneath you, uh, as opposed to just sitting there on the ice and staring at your, at your end of your rod and it's not doing anything, so we definitely enjoyed that. If you hear a cat, that's our little cat. He just came upstairs. But uh, yeah, thanks, thanks a lot for coming along on the journey. And then uh, Sean and I will talk to you on the next one. Talk to you later.